How much of your identity do you feel is tied to music? I feel like my absolute whole identity is in my music and I think that's probably why I take it so seriously is because or kind of like take it so personally when I put out music it's kind of like putting out my whole self I think when I write music it is pretty much like a diary entry per song and it very much represents a time in my life and I never kind of like skip the crap it's all kind of like very brutally honest and just a hundred percent me on on paper <laughs> that sounds like a Love Island quote <laughs> that's not a Love Island quote <laughs> what I mean is that what what you see is what you get like yeah. in the songs like it is just like a hundred percent me to a T if we kind of continue on with that diary metaphor then mm. we could say that the your last single the entry was taken from the kind of height of lockdown oh 100% and I wrote I don't have a clue with my best friend Kieran Williams and I think kind of like sharing that experience with a friend who's going through the same thing and being like allowing ourselves to be so vulnerable and open with each other was really special because I feel like with a lot of people over lockdown mental health was kind of like the topic of everyone's conversation and kind of being able to write a song and be open and honest and not kind of feel like ashamed of it. it kind of like celebrating the fact that I don't have a clue and that's fine. Like I'm not here to kind of be like, oh yeah, everything's, everyone's having a good time. <laughs> like I ju generally just being able to kind of accept where you are and being able to kind of like look back and being like okay that's where I was but now this is where I am and being able to kind of like see the different stages of where where I am. With what you were saying about you both you know being so able to be open mm. when you were in that creative process did lockdown kind of play into that and that separation we had you think that made you more likely to be open? Um, That's such a good question because for a lot of lockdown I completely pushed myself away from being vulnerable or not being vulnerable but having those conversations until I absolutely had to kind of like chat to my friends like it wasn't like a constant conversation that I had with everyone where every day I was kind of like oh I'm having a hard time or I don't know what I'm doing it was kind of like I didn't want to have those conversations constantly but when I did it was kind of like word vomit it was kind of like holy crap like we're all like so uncertain right now we're all in a really vulnerable place and I think once you kind of cross that line of allowing yourself to be vulnerable and allowing others to be vulnerable with you it's kind of like it's really really special because you're just allowing yourselves to be to feel exactly how you feel without kind of like covering anything up and I think especially now with a lot of my friends, we talk about mental health constantly. And that, that's maybe something that we wouldn't normally talk about on like a day-to-day -day basis. Whereas now it's something that we want to talk about. It's so important in our lives. And I kind of, I'm kind of glad that I don't have a clue came out at the time that it did. It kind of allowed others to see that I can be vulnerable as well and not just kind of like feel like I'm happy all the time. And I think that was strange for people to hear and see as well. Has that impacted your songwriting in any way? Like perhaps if previously songwriting had been your main way to kind of get a lot of those things out, now that you're able to do it in conversations also, has that impacted the way you approach songwriting in any sense? As in like take conversations into... Not necessarily, but just say before lockdown, if songwriting was perhaps your main way to get a lot of these emotions out, mm. now that you're able to have those conversations in person with people, oh, has I see. that impacted songwriting in return now? Oh, that's a good point actually because although songwriting has been my kind of like main source of like therapy and thought processing in the past I think you're right like now that I am <laughs> I am like talking about it more often with people I'm kind of like oh now I don't know like what can I put in my songs now because it's not like a th like the thought process is more like with the conversations I'm having with people rather than the conversations I'm having with myself um but I think as well as that I have been able to kind of like not write as many of the same style songs like 
although like I don't have a clue was about like mental health I think because I am talking about it so much like I don't necessarily need to have that conversation with myself as much and feel like I need to write about it because it is kind of like open out in the open now um so it's just like different topics that could also be a healthy thing though when it comes back to what we're saying about songwriting being so kind of tied up in your identity does mm. it kind of take the pressure from that slightly too sorry what did you say <laughs> sorry <laughs> with what we were saying earlier on about songwriting being so wrapped up within your identity mm. the fact that you're now able to express these things in another domain does that take the pressure off of that slightly and help mm. that in any way i mean i still like don't don't get me wrong like my songs are definitely my identity but they're also kind of like an alter ego for me like they're not necessarily things that i would say in like a day-to-day -day basis it's kind of like things that i maybe wouldn't say out loud are the things that i put in my song and it's kind of like therapy that way in terms of like things that you're too scared to actually say to someone or admit to i kind of put that in a different persona and become like my almost realist version of myself and probably a side that no one really sees and although it's like my identity my my music is my identi identity it's not an identity people know if that makes any you're sense. almost like creating another identity from yourself mm, that's a hundred percent yeah it's a hundred percent because like the songs i write about like they are i mean the songs that like maybe people haven't heard but are coming out in the future like they are quite like savage and harsh and like brutally honest and i can be all of those things but maybe not too to the point if that makes sense like i'll put it in a nice way to someone's face but in in a song like i'm a different kind of like character i guess this is just like no filter at all it's just like straight up this is how i feel on a plate and that's what you get in a song, I guess. It's interesting to think about that then in context of the kind of sonic aesthetics of the song and what you do to your vocals, because quite often you'll treat them, particularly in the last single two, with effects mm. and kind of layer them up and transform mm. them a bit. How does that impact the way that you relate to your own voice? Oh, that's so funny because we have been playing with effects so much that to a certain extent where like I don't like the sound of my own voice sometimes because we're like trying these like new effects and to like kind of like create a scene I guess um and I think I think with the effects it is more like creating a scene and t instead of kind of altering my voice to sound like pristine or perfect for example like we have a song we have a song I mean I I have a song coming out um and it's about without giving too much away it's basically about someone saying they love you to the moon and back but they don't love you in the more it, they don't love you anymore so you're like pretending that they're like in space or like stuck on the moon or something like that and with that we've created like quite a lot of like vocal effects to go with that and it is trying to like create that scene of out, like your outer space rather than almost like enhancing the narrative of the song 100 percent, yeah and I think that's what I'll use vocal effects for is only to enhance the whole feeling of a song. What aspect of your personality do you think shines through most in your songwriting? Oh. oh. I think, oh, that is so hard to answer. From other people's point of view, I would think they would think I'm a savage to a certain extent. Not so much, only some songs that I've written, but I think as well, my most prominent personality trait is probably celebrating the bad parts in life and turning like bad situations good and just kind of not feeling ashamed of who you are. And like kind of like celebrating, figuring everything out instead of just kind of like writing a sad song about how rubbish everything is it's kind of like i'm okay with that i'm happy that i don't have my shit together or i'm happy that i'm struggling or like going through these bits of life and just kind of like celebrating the different aspects of life instead of kind of feeling down about it all 
It's interesting you use that phrase there about you know celebrating figuring it all out、mm. because this last single very much comes from a place of confusion and like、mm. you know what the fuck. How important is having a good understanding of yourself and where you are at a particular moment to the songwriting process? Well, I think I don't. Ha- I don't ever have a, <laughs> a sense of where I am. Like I feel like, especially over the past two years, I've changed so much.、Um, That I just, I just don't. I think when you're writing a song, you just maybe need to kind of write a song for the time, and maybe it won't be who you really are, but it just kind of like reflects a moment in time that just represents how you feel, rather than like maybe who you are as a person. Like I don't think I, ha- I really a hundred percent have a full gl- grasp on who I am as a person at the moment. But in terms of like how I write, is like different kind of. Moments or little kind of like pieces of me, I guess it's kind of like the more I release songs, it's like kind of putting like a puzzle together and finding out how, like who I am. I guess <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> That's a great note to wrap it up on. Oh, Thank you. Are we done? Oh, Thank great!、You. Thanks so much. <laughs>